Hey everyone, this is Bharko Suthar and today we are going to start with a new chapter, Predicate Logic. Now, first let us understand what is predicate. A propositional function or a predicate in one or two variables is a sentence that becomes a proposition. When, whenever variables are given definite values from the set of values it can take. See, a propositional function or a predicate in one or two variables is a sentence that becomes a proposition. That means whenever we give some values, it has truth value. Uh, let us take example. See, here x is greater than 13. It is not a proposition as x is undefined. Now, whenever we put a value of x, uh, like uh, whenever we put x equals to 14, so 14 is greater than 13, so it becomes proposition and is it and it is a true statement. Okay. Now next. Now here y plus 8 equals to 12. Now this is not a proposition, it is a predicate, but when whenever we put value and it gave true or false values. Here, whenever we put uh, y equals to 4, let's say 4, then it is a proposition and it is also a predicate. Now, a predicate P contains n variables. x1, x2, up to xn is called an n plus predicate. For example, here x is greater than 13 is a 1 plus predicate. Why? Because it has only one variable and it is denoted by P of x, small p of x. x plus y equals 12. It is 2 plus predicate and it is denoted by P of x, y and so on. Like x plus y plus z is greater than 14. That is a 3 place predicate and it is denoted by p of x, y, and z. And you can denote like this. Now, now, the values which the variables may assume constitute a collection or a set is called the universe of discourse. That means whatever the values it can take, whatever the values the variables can take, set of all collections, put all together, and become it becomes a collection and it is called universe of discourse now uh, we will discuss quantifier what is quantifier there are two types the first one is universal quantifier now if p of x is a predicate we know that what is predicate okay now with the variable x as an argument universal quantifier is a mathematical symbol it is it is defined or it is denoted like this for every whose meaning is we know that for all or for every. Now, the proposition for the symbol for every x comma p of x and which is interpreted as for every x or for all values of x, p of x is true. Okay, it is the notation for every x comma p of x or we can also denote it as for every x bracket p of x and it is interpreted as for every x but for every values of x, p of x is true. Now, the variable which we have taken is called universally quantified. If this is true, then the variable is called universal quantified. Now, the second one, existential quantifier. Now, if p of x is a predicate with the variables x as an argument, existential quantifier, it is a mathematical symbol. Here, uh, universal quantifier symbol was for every, and here, the existential quantifier symbol is like E, rotated E, whose meaning is that exists. Now, the proposition like this, that exists x, comma p of x, or we can also denote it as, or there exists x, bracket of p of x, and which is interpreted as, there exists x, that p of x is true this is the short form or that exists a value of x in the universe of discourse that means whatever the values it can take universe the va uh, universe of discourse for which p of x is true uh, remark see the negation of uh, yes this was the notation negation of for every x bracket p of x is for every p x p of x is not true 
that is very obvious now negation of for every x p of x is what for every x p of x is not true or it is not the case that for all x p of x is true this means that at least for some x p of x is not true or in other words we can also say that there exists an x such that not p of x is true or p of x is not true again i am repeating negation of for every x p of x is what it is the very obvious for every x p of x is not true or it is not the case that for all x p of x is true and this means that there exists an x such that p of x is not true or not p of x is true hence it is symbol symbolically de defined as like this that means negation of for every x p of x and we know this symbol we have discussed in previous sessions for uh, negation of for every x p of x is logically equivalent to there exist bracket not of p of x that means there exist x such that p of x is not true and this one is important let us take examples uh, first one uh, over the universe of discourse of book defined propositions uh, this is defined as p of x x is blue color m of x x is mad book i of x x is published in india we have three propositions okay now translate the question is translate the following the first one for every x m of x i of x this is implied p of x and this is for every x that means here it is universal quantifier and second one there are mad books published outside of india or outside india so in the first one we have given symbolical form that means we want to translate in word form and in second form we have sentence and then we will convert it into symbolical form so what will be the solution see consider here for every x so for all x so its meaning is for all now m of x and i of x so what is m of x x is max book and i of x and x is published in india so we want to combine like this x is math book and x is published in india so we can say like this x is math book which is published in india or directly x is math book published in india okay now implies p of x so that means x has blue cover so together we can combine like this for every meaning this all so all math books published in india have blue cover easy all math books published in india have blue cover now the second one uh, there are math books published outside india so what are the statements uh, there are math books uh, x is math books so that means here it is m of x published outside of india now published in india it is i of x and here we have negation that means outside of india can denote it like not of i of x so this one is very easy and there are that means there exist x so is that m of x and not of i of x that means there are math books published so m of x is math books published outside of india that means not of i of x now let us consider the second example rewrite the following statements using quantifier variables and predicate symbols the first one all birds can fly now we want to use predicate symbols like uh, universal and existential here all birds can fly so first consider x is a bird we will divide it into two parts p of x as x is a bird and second one x can fly and we know that for all we have the symbol that means universal quantifier just like this so this one is very easy so the statement will be as for every x p of x implies p of x so that means all birds for all we we have used uh, for every x p of x that means x is a bird q of x it can fly p of x implies q of x so all birds can fly second there is a student who like maths but not geography 
so we will divide it into how many parts there is a student who like math but not geography so i think there will be three statements the first one e of x x is a student yes second one x likes maths and third one x likes geography or like geography what will be the symbol that is that means there exists so that means existential quantifier so there exists uh, x is a student means there is a student so p of x x likes maths so that means q of x but not geography uh, here x like geography we have taken r of x as x like geography but uh, in the question we have given but not geography so that means the statement will be like this there exists x p of x and q of x and not of r of x that means there is a student who like maths but not geography Now, each integer is either even or odd third example each integer is either even or odd solution let us take p of x as x is an integer here also there will be three parts x is an integer q of x x is even and r of x x is odd okay first please think it yourself uh, each integer is either even or odd so now each there is each that means we will use universal quantifier that means for all for every uh, integer so there will be p of x either even or odd so all statements are in true that means p of x q of x and r of x there will not be any negation form so what will be the statement for every x p of x implies q of x and or or symbol is this q of x or r of x why we have put uh, implies in this because we cannot uh, state like this that uh, each integer and that means x is an integer and it is even or odd because uh, every integer is either even or odd that definitely implies it is either even or odd so that means the statement will be like this for every x p of x implies q of x or r of x now third one negate each of the following statements the first one for every x uh, modulus of x equals to x uh, this is very easy we know that for every x the negation is there exists x and for equals to it is not equals to so it is the very basic one that means there exists x so as that modulus of x is not x see uh, here for every x modulus of x is x the negation will be there exists some x uh, in which this condition does not satisfy that means there exists x so as that modulus of x does not equal to x now the second one if there is a riot then someone is killed here we cannot directly say the negation or state the negation so we will first convert it into symbolic form and then we will try to find the negation first let us take p now, if there is a riot then someone is killed that means uh, here there will be two statements now let p equal to so there is a riot and second one someone is killed so what is the statement given if there is a riot then someone is killed that means here it is if and then so implies symbol must be there so the given statement can be returned as p e implies q yeah okay now we want to find the negation of this so first we will find negation in symbolic form and then we will convert it into a sentence now negation of p implies q now we have already discussed that p implies q has some uh, logically equivalent form that is implies we know that p implies q is logically equivalent to not p or q the next one not of not p that is we know p now negation of or we know that that is n and negation of q that is negation of q okay so this is the statement now we want to find or we want to convert it into sentence form so p and not q so what is p there is a riot and not q that means someone is killed and someone is not killed 
okay so there's a riot and someone is not killed okay so there is a riot and someone is not killed easy thank you